Hey good people and welcome back to the channel. Today's movie review will be on the movie Sugar Box, which you can catch on Tubi. And for this review, it'll be my plan to summarize the movie, tell you what I liked and disliked about it, and I will end the review by giving you an overall rating. So without any further delay, let's jump right in. The movie Sugar Box follows the character Valerie March. Valerie is a reporter who likes to go undercover and put herself in dangerous situations in order to put criminals away. We first see her in action in the beginning of the movie when she takes down a corrupt businessman. But shortly after a well-earned victory, Valerie receives a letter from a friend of the family asking her to look into a situation. And this situation motivates Valerie to go undercover at a women's prison to expose corruption and other illegal activities. Valerie is successful at working undercover, but she fails to bring down the corrupt warden and staff members. So she eventually takes matters into her own hands in order to bring down the corrupt prison. And that's pretty much the movie. Now with a simple premise like that, I will say that there were a number of things that I liked about the movie. First, I appreciated the overall story for what it was. At the heart of it all, this is a movie that exposes corruption, not only within the prison systems, but in policing and the justice system. There have been several movies that have covered this topic already, but I don't mind other movies putting their own spin on things. Second, I like the homage that Sugarbox gave to the 70s cheesy sexploitation and blaxploitation movies. Yes, this movie comes off as cheap with its set designs, musical score, and fight scenes, but that's the whole point. And speaking of sexploitation and blaxploitation movies, when I saw this movie, it reminded me of Pan Greer movies from the 70s, with some of her earlier movies being Women in Cages and Black Mama White Mama. And lastly, I was a fan of all the eye candy in the movie. The movie features some very attractive women, and if you like to look at scantily clad women for hours on end, then this is the movie for you. Now let's talk about what I disliked about Sugarbox. First, I thought that the third act of the movie was simply too over the top. For example, once Valerie's cover is blown, she returns back to the real world and assembles a team together to orchestrate a plan to break into the prison, kill all the prison guards, and set the prisoners free. In my opinion, this character and story deviation would have been a lot easier to digest if the movie was over the top to begin with. But in the beginning, Valerie's character was established as a law-abiding citizen and an investigator who believed in bringing criminals to justice through legal means. So for Valerie to turn into a reckless killing machine during the last 20 minutes of the movie was a hard pivot that was silly. There was also a scene during the third act of the movie where a prison guard saves the life of a female inmate and he gets mortally wounded in the process. The inmate that is saved by the guard decides to thank the guard by giving him a blowjob as he's dying. While it's a funny scene to watch, it's also extremely silly considering that the first two acts of the movie took itself very seriously. Next, I will say that the overall acting performances in Sugarbox were pretty bad to say the least. Yeah, I know this movie is based on cheesy movies from the 70s, but at least some of those movies had actors that gave memorable acting performances. In this movie, it seems like these actors are just people they found off the street and offered the role to. Another thing that I didn't like was the excessive nudity. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about there being nudity in the movie, but there are times where the nudity really serves no purpose to the scenes in question. Almost as if the nudity was done either in shock value or just to please the viewer. But when the movie's showing the same women in these scenes, it gets kind of old after a while. But overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give Sugarbox a solid 4. I appreciated the movie for what it tried to accomplish, and even though I liked a number of things in the movie, this movie was entirely too silly and over the top for me to enjoy like I really wanted to. So if you haven't seen this movie yet, then you might want to skip it. One of the actresses from the movie was a cast member on Flavor of Love, and if you want to see her naked or topless, then feel free to do so. Otherwise, you may want to treat this movie like a bill collector and avoid it. Well that's the end of the review. If you have any questions or comments related to the review or the movie, feel free to leave them below in the comment section, and I'll be sure to reply to everybody. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.